What's going on guys? Adam Luce here. Welcome back to another video. Move away fishing. Today we got the video everybody's been commenting about, everyone's asking for, my gear walkthrough. I'm gonna explain what rods and reels I use for what different types of fish and when I'm fishing and the time of year, everything. Let's dive right into the video. Alright guys, my first setup here is going to be the Stratic CI4 1000 paired with the Shimano GLF 7 foot. Pretty much I use this setup for popping up fishing. It's my ultralight setup. It's got 8 pound spider wire Invisibrate on it. Yeah, I pretty much use it for popping up or like fishing small like snapper or snooker stuff. That's it for this rod, not too much for this one. Let's move on to the next. My second setup here. Once again, another Stratic CI4. This is a 3000 paired on a Star Rod Seagus 7 foot. Um, it's got 15 pound Spider Rod Invisibrate on it. I use this setup for snook, tarpon, redfish, trout. Uh, I was taking it up to the power plant and trout fishing with it, but I got another setup that I'll show you guys in a minute here. But I used this rod for a really long time and they just stopped making the split grip model because I broke it and went to send it back, so, which kind of sucks because I really like that one, but it's what it is. This is kind of like my next up from my ultralight. It's like a medium light setup. I'll bring it to the Keys when we go trout fishing and then just like fish on the patch reefs and stuff. That's pretty much it for this rod. So this is my new favorite inshore setup right now. My buddy Zach Dombrowski actually built this rod. It is a, um, he didn't write any of it on it. I think it's a 7.6 Rain Shadow. Uh, it's honestly the nicest like intro rod I've fished in a long time. It's got perfect action on the rod. It's super tippy, but I got, it's still a backbone. I can still put heat to a fish. And then he just did a regular diamond wrap there, I think that is. Then it's on my Shimano Sustain 3000. Um, this is probably, yeah, like I said, the nicest inshore setup I own. It's got 20 pounds spider wire Invisibrate on there. I just started taking that to the power plant and I like it better. I can cast a lot farther with this rod too, even though it's got a little bit heavier braid than my CI4 does. Like I said, trout, redfish, snook, tarpon, pretty much everything in shore I've done with this rod. Also can handle big fish. I've caught plenty of 40 inch snook on this, no problem. This rod can take it all. I really like to use this rod too. Like sometimes me and CJ will go fish bridges at night with live shrimp, try and catch a couple snook. This rod's perfect for getting those, those bigger fish out of the bridges without them wrapping me up. I can still, like I said, I can still put the heat to them, but it's still light enough to where it's fun. You know what I mean? This setup's perfect. So this rod's pretty special. Um, actually, my buddy JL Leffler made this rod for one of my other buddies, David Nason, and he ended up selling to me for super cheap. It is a really, really nice rod. It's a Phoenix Blank, I believe. Um, black Diamond Hybrid, 12 to 30 pound. So that other rod I showed you is Zach Dombrowski built that rod. I'll have his Instagram popping up right here and then JL's popping up right here. So make sure you guys give both of them some love. They really do a great job. They work hard. I like both their rods equally. They're both, they're both my buddies. Can't favorite over either of them. Um, and if you guys are gonna have a rod built by one of them, make sure you say, hey, I saw an ad in the video, I'd like this rod. He might give you a little discount, who knows. Um, moving on with this rod. It is a 6,000 Shimano Saragossa with 40 pound of visit braid. And then the rod, like I said, the rod's 12 to 30 pound Phoenix blank. It's a super stiff rod. I can put so much heat to fish with this rod, but it's still a little tippy, like, still like fish. I throw jigs, uh, plugs, you know I'm a big plug guy, boys. This is my, my mullet run rod, um, beach fish with it, and during the mullet run, of course, fishy inlet with it. Uh, it's my head, it's one of my heavier rods I have. This rod and reel is pretty, pretty special. This combo is pretty special to me. So my dad had this custom built, 1980s honestly but I think the name the name of the guy who built this is actually on here somewhere yeah it's a JR custom rod Jupiter Florida 12 to 20 pound line that's all it says on there it's a super old rod and my dad actually gave it to me 
I don't think he gave it to me, honestly, I just took it. Um, it's on my 8000 Shimano Saragossa with 30 pound braid. I macro fish with this setup, it's a pretty beefy setup, so, and what you guys know from my videos, when we're macro fishing, we're just trying to get the fish in right away, we're not like playing with them, so. Super beefy combo, I can put the, I can put the heat to any fish with this combo. I'm definitely going to be snook fishing with it during the summertime. Hopefully some big tarpon in the keys this summer. That's it, that's honestly all I have for this rod. Let's go to the next one. All right, this combo, this is some OG stuff right here, boys. This is a Torium Gang combo. It's my Shimano Torium 20 HG paired with a Enamic series, one of the Crowder Enamic series. Crowder's actually local out of Stewart, Florida, so go give him some love over there. He's a real cool guy. Crowder's also got a lifetime warranty, so if you guys break any of the rods, you go to his factory where he builds the rods and he'll replace it, no, no charge. He just wants to know like what happened to the rod so he can better build his company. The rod's a 6.6 and the line weight's 20 to 60 pound. Um, it's a super, super beefy rod. This is my bottom fishing combo. I think me, Jake, CJ, and Joey all have this combo. Um, like I said, some OG stuff right there, boys. It's got 80 pound, yeah, it's got 80 pound Power Pro, regular Power Pro, which I'm not a huge fan of Power Pro, but apparently Filefish pick at the white line the spider wire, which I like a lot, so that's why we got the Power Pro on here. Um, it's a short rod, and that's all you need for bottom fishing. You don't need something long because you're dropping straight down. I can really put the heat to fish with this setup. Like, so if I hook a big mutton or a big grouper, I want to be able to stop that fish from running to the reef and getting to the rock. So that's why we have such a beefy setup. Like, we can really put the heat to a big fish, but it's also still got a little bit of play to where it's fun fighting the fish. But especially in the summertime, like. You're bottom fishing on the way down at Bonita Eats, so you don't want to sit there and fight a Bonita for 10 minutes. You want to horse them up real quick, take them off, and get another Dean down so you can smoke them up. You know what I mean? You guys have seen the summer. I got some sick footage lined up. That's pretty much it for this combo. Let's move to the next one. This is the, actually the older version of the Torim, the Torim 30, paired on a Crowder once again, E Series. Uh, it's an 8 foot rod, 20 to 50. This is my Kingfish rod. I actually don't use this one. This one's my backup. I use the newer one, which I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. It's the same combo, just a newer Torium. It's got 40 pound blue Mamoy, and this rod's so nice. I like the eight foot rod when I'm king fishing and we're Benita fishing in the summer because I can flip a big fish like that and I have the leverage of the, of the big rod, if that makes any sense for you guys. Because like a short rod, you're kind of high sticking it and you're gonna break the rod, but with a longer rod, you can really put some whip into it and flip a big fish in the boat without having the gaffo and everybody's hooked up. Um, this rod is just, we call these meat sticks because these literally just, you just hammer fish on these big setups. There's no fun to it pretty much. You just are straight meat fishing. All right, now we're gonna go show you the same exact setup with just a new retorium, but it's the same thing. I'll go show you anyways. Like I said, same exact setup. Uh, I have actually beat this thing up super bad. I'll come show you. Okay, you can see right here on the outside, it's pretty much like melted. I don't even know what happened. Maybe like sitting in the bed of my truck. I mean, I just got a truck, so honestly, I don't know. Sitting in the bed of other people's trucks, uh, chipped away at it. But honestly, this thing is still so smooth and everyone's so surprised. I've had this set up for two years and treated it like crap, honestly, I have. I haven't taken care of this rod because you get lazy after commercial fishing. Like a long day of kink fishing, you just want to go home and take a shower and be done with it. And I haven't rinsed off, rinsed off this setup consistently and taken care of it on the boat even because we're commercial fishing and it's still one of the smoother reels I have, which is ridiculous. But same setup, just a different reel, the newer one. Let's move on to the next one. This is the last setup here, guys. You saw this one in my 40 inch snook video when me and CJ went snook fishing back in the river. Um, I absolutely love this rod. I can throw big swim baits on it. This is my mullet run rod and running up and down the beach, casting huge mullet, big swim baits, plugs, top waters, you name it. This rod does it all. It is a Tackle Industries 9 foot, medium heavy, uh, 30 to 60 pound. I love throwing big swim baits with this rod because it's got 
enough tip in it to where I can still feel the bait. Like I had my old rod was a uh, St. Croix, some type of big musky rod, St. Croix musky rod, and it was just too stiff. And I couldn't really feel like, I, obviously I felt when I got a bite, but it was, it was literally a broomstick, like hooks heading into a fish. I had no give on the rod. This rod has a lot more give. And when I go to set the hook into a fish, I, it has more give, pretty much. I can't explain it any other way unless you guys fish and you understand what I mean. Um, and then this reel is really nice actually. Nobody, not a lot of people have this reel and everyone was really interested in my last video. It is a Shimano Takoda. 500 HG. It's the same thing as a Torin, but with a level line. It's got 24 pounds of drag, which is a lot of drag for this little reel. Um, 6.31 gear ratio. It's a star drag. I can cast a mile with this setup. Like a two ounce jig, I can sling halfway across the inlet too, so I can cast really far with this rod. Um, but it's also nice for fishing walls, and I thought getting a nine foot rod like this, man, it's gonna be too big for certain things, but it's really not. It's honestly perfect for everything I want to do with it. Big snow, big tarpon, jacks, even though I don't like to catch jacks. Um, it's really just a big snook rod, a big swim bait rod, and fish perch and croaker during the summertime. So that's pretty much it. That's all I got for the setup. I hope this video wasn't too boring for you guys. I had a bunch of people comment. They wanted to see this video, so that's what we did. Um, and as you can hear in the background, sorry about the wind noise, it's blowing and that's why I'm not fishing, so gotta upload for the boys, you know how it is. If you guys have any questions about the rod or reel, maybe I didn't explain it in full detail, drop a comment below, ask me, I'll answer any questions. Also appreciate all the positive support I get. A lot of people comment on my videos. It helps me, it helps me stay motivated to keep the channel going, you know what I mean? So I appreciate that a lot. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, big, big shout out to Isabella back there for filming it. She doesn't want to be in the video. I don't know why. I'm not sure if you guys noticed the moving weight fishing shirt. Everyone's been asking about merch. If this video hits a thousand likes before I hit 10,000 subs, we will be dropping 25 shirts. Um, first come, first serve, pretty much on the website. Not going to do too much explaining about it. It's a surprise. But yeah, like I said. 1,000 likes before I hit 10,000 subs. I promise you guys, moving white shirts. And this is just a rough draft. Uh, we just made this one up real quick. I'll have Isabel show you the back of the shirt as well. Let me know if you guys like it. It's a microfiber too, so it's soft. It's not like a regular tee, you know what I mean? Um, hope you guys like this video. Hope it wasn't too boring for you. Everyone wants to see it, so I'm doing what everybody wants me to do. If you guys have any other video suggestions, Make sure you go down in the comments and let me know. Uh, the comment with the most likes is what video I'll do next, as long as like I'm able to do it. It's local, you know what I mean? That's, that's what I'll do. Comment with the most likes is the fishing video or whatever I'll do next. Let me know. Until next time. Moving weights out. What's going on guys? Adam Luce here. Welcome back to another video. Moving weight fishing. Today we got Should I stop it? No, I'll just keep no, going. Just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> My brother's gonna put that in the video. Nice. Alright, one more time.